Hey guys, Joe here. Shelby did a video on his bow setup, so I thought I'd follow him up and do one on mine. So here we go. Okay. So we have the same bag, the same game plan bag. So one of the first things I bought was a hard case arrow quiver here. So it's hard, keeps arrows protected even in this soft case, keeps it all solid. So we have similar, love all these pockets. So over here I've got some broadheads my son likes to shoot, a uh, package of targets to put out there so I can actually see when we're trying to stretch it out. Arrow puller, um, this thing's pretty good. I got this one at Cabela's, it's kind of expensive. It was like 20 bucks and it's got these little gripper things. If these get wet at all, it's real tough to pull out the arrows, but when you're shooting these fast high poundage bows, it's hard to pull out the arrows anyway. Over here, I've got a case, my broadheads, and I've got the, if I get it open. I've got some kudu points, which I think is what I'm gonna go with, and then I bought some muzzy trocars, and I was giving those a try. They had a bunch of good reviews online, so I've got those in the case. Um, extra 125 grain field points. These ones are bulged to help me pull them out of the targets. Wax string, uh, extra knocks, um, screws, and other knocks. I carry a lot of stuff for my son too. He loses knocks super fast. Some sight tapes, my Klein Tools Allen wrench that we both have, thanks to Shelby. I have some tape. Uh, use this for sighting in, putting vertical and horizontal lines on targets. Um, a bigger Allen wrench, because my bow takes two different size Allen wrenches. And here, I have my Horn Hunter Bino Harness. Um, this thing's pretty sweet. I'll probably do another review on it or show you about it later, but it's got the, the range finder wrap here for the, the Ranger 1000. And then I've got the Vortex Talon HD binoculars slide right in there, close it down. So those are pretty sweet. And then my bow. So same guy that Shelby got his from, Bowtech guy. Um, we kind of stumbled across the Bowtex on accident, but mine is a Bowtech Experience, um, black ops colors, 70 pound limbs. So got the experience here. I always keep my release on the bow with the bow. So got the same fast eddy, spot hog, XL double pin sight. Tight spot quiver with the crimson accents here. And I shoot Carbon Express Maxima Reds. A um, little heavier arrow than the gold tips. And they're supposed to have this red part. It's supposed to be the less stiff section. So when you shoot it, all the flex is in the center. Went with the four fletch out here in the northwest trying to get some distance. Um, and then this wrap here, I actually painted these with um, some lacquer paint. Turned out pretty good. You can see I painted all of these. And I'm getting into the fletching of the arrows and the gluing of the inserts and everything. And you can see here that I have lit knocks on these four. Not sure why I don't have one on that one probably just put it into the quiver. Um, I use the triple ring with the double pin. I have the same vapor trail limb driver rest, drop away rest, and then I have a limb saver 10 inch stabilizer. It's carbon fiber down here with all the weight out on the ends. Uh, 70 pound draw. I think I'm drawing about 72 right now. I went with an eighth inch peep uh, with the sight being on this dovetail bar when I had a, a 3 16 peep and I've tried a few peeps I can talk about those I tried a precision peep that had a stud in the center of it and that didn't quite turn out how I hoped um, you know nothing against that peep it just it was hard for my eyes to adjust and focus on it so 
use this triple disc so depending on the light situations and your peep size this triple disc gives you more reference to try and get your anchor points and everything in the same spot every time um, you know this bow was the flagship bow for Bowtech in 2015 um, it's a really nice shooting bow bare bow it's 4.3 pounds um, has good IBO speeds fast bow I really like it. Um, it's 32 axle to axle, so it's not the smallest, but it's not the biggest. And you know, I'm really liking shooting it. The f this piece here, this flat handle, has a really nice grip. Um, you know, got to get your first anchor point and go from there. So, really enjoying this bow and learning about everything. And so, yeah, there we go. So that's my bow setup. Uh, really enjoying it and. Can't wait to get out on the range, do a video there, hopefully get Parker in it, and show you his setup and what we've got going for him just as a little scrub starting out learning everything. So anyway, just want to say keep chasing it, get out there, get after it, you know, comments, questions below, we'll do the best we can. Like I said, I've tried about six peeps on my bow, trying to figure out which one worked for me. For the first two weeks, I spent time going through my draw length, probably I went from a 28 and a half to a 28 to a 27 and a half back to a 28 uh, you know figuring out the anchor point on my chin where it worked best for me how the string sat on my nose getting all my anchor points figured out and um, yeah really enjoying this you guys have any questions seriously try and post them in the comments and I'm sure Shelby or I have some experience so far or you know work our way through it whatever we got to do keep chasing it guys